Today I'm testing out two different weed control products on a lawn. It's got a lot of weeds in this particular area. We're going to try the two products out. We'll see which one does a better job controlling the weeds. So I want to show you the products, tell you about how I mixed them up, show you the weeds, and then we're going to spray it and we'll come back and, and watch and just observe what happens to the weeds after the application. Let's get started right now. So well, here's the two products we're trying out today. We got Katana and got Tribute Total. When I say trying out, I don't mean that in the, in the sense that I haven't used them before. Both good products, both products I use on a regular basis and I've already got them mixed up. Katana comes with a measuring cone. I believe the, the low rate on it is, uh, for spot treating, is 0 .034 ounces per thousand square feet, which often I'll put that in, in one gallon of water. The high rate is double that, up to 0.068 ounces per thousand square feet. So I've got it mixed at the low rate, so I might spray it a little bit heavier. The Tribute Total comes with a little measuring scoop, and it, I put three scoops per gallon of water. So I've got a, a little two gallon sprayer with it mixed in it, so I put six scoops in there. That's actually the high rate on it. So may spray it uh, a little bit lighter. So uh, both good products, both uh, for warm season grasses. You're not going to want to use these on cool season grasses. Tribute Total, please, just for Bermuda and Zoysia. Um, Katana has a little bit more variety. You can also use it on uh, Centipede as well. So some of the things I really like about these products is they both have some effectiveness on sedges as well as grassy weeds as well as broadleaf weeds. So these are very versatile products. Uh, I'm going to be doing this application in the springtime. Tribute Total is going to be a little bit pricier than Katana. Um, but Katana is a, is a great product to use if you're trying to get cool season grasses out of your warm season lawn. So if you've got ryegrass clumps or fescue clumps, Tribute Total is also great for that. And they both can work on Poa annua, getting that uh, as a post-emergent. Uh, in your warm season lawn, again, you're not going to want to use these on your cool season lawn, but also effective on broadleaf weeds as well. well we're going to be going after some very mature spring weeds. So, got uh, lots of different things in here. Got purple dead nettle in full bloom. Let's see, you've got some oxalis or yellow wood sorrel with the yellow flowers on it. Some uh, wild onions here. I don't expect a whole lot to happen to those. Got some uh, geranium here. So different weeds, uh, hen bit is in here as well. So we're gonna spray, I've got a flag over here. I'm gonna spray this section with um, the Tribute Total and we'll see what happens. And then I've got another flag over here on this side that I'm gonna spray with Katana. Not quite as many uh, weeds over here, but some, some different weeds. I, I'm be honest, I don't know the names of, of all of them, but big leafy broadleaf weeds. Somebody might know the name of this one. Um, a gigantic <laughs> hen bit, full mature hen bit right here. It's like uh, some type, some, maybe a dandelion or something that's not blooming. Uh, got onions over here as well. So some big broadleaf weeds, and there's a, a clump of some kind of grassy weed. It may, it may or may not be effective. So dandelions, uh, got field matter in bloom here. So. We're gonna go after this side with the Katana and the other side with the Tribute Total, and we'll see what happens. Again, these are products that I use a lot of times on grassy weeds earlier in the year. I may not be using them in the areas that they're strongest in, but they also can work on this, so I thought it'd be a way we could test them out and see what happens. They're gonna work faster as the weather warms up. We're looking, uh, we're still in the 60s today. Got some weather going up in the 70s and 80s next week. So I would expect fairly quick results on this application. And make sure when you're doing these applications, you're wearing your PPE. I'll have rubber gloves, rubber boots, long pants, and long sleeve shirts on while making this application. Of course, follow the label and use the rates according to the label. All right, I got the Tribute Total mixed up. I'm gonna make the application. All right, we're gonna leave some weeds not sprayed so we can compare what's been sprayed with what hadn't been sprayed. Now let's move on and spray Katana. As you got a big, a big 
pile of clover right here. I'm gonna spray that with the katana. We'll see what happens. All right, we got them spray. We'll check back in a few days and see what's happening. Thanks. Okay, I'm gonna give an update on the tribute total and the katana application. It's been about eight days since the application, so let's see what's happening with the weeds. And we sprayed a bunch of weeds, and you can see the flag there. So this first one is our tribute total application. And again, the, the, the weather, the warmer the weather gets, the faster it's gonna work. So here's um, what we're looking at. You can see there's some discoloration on some of these weeds just because of uh, I don't know if it's from the warmer weather some of this some of this uh, purple dead nettle hen bit starting to turn colors I don't I don't think I maybe I sprayed this area because there's some over here that are is that's kind of what a normal mature purple dead nettle looks like geranium you know uh, field matter things like that that are very mature at this time I'm filming this uh, in the spring so come over here to stuff that's been sprayed onions I mean looks like there is actually a little bit of damage to the onion leaf I, I don't consider tribute total to be my go-to for onions so I'd use blindside or metzulfuron or something like that but uh, let's look at some of the other weeds so you got some obvious discoloration in the hen bit here turning yellow nothing radical to be honest with you it's not overly impressive I'll just go ahead and admit now does that mean it's not working no, I don't I don't think it means it's not working I think it means uh, that if you mowed it I think most of this would not come back I don't want to mow it yet because I want to continue to watch it and see what happens to see if it begins to work a little a little bit more effective more obvious results is what I should say so uh, but anyway there's you know geranium in there the hen bit um, a lot of discoloration, but it, it really it's not been fast. So I think just one thing to observe not getting in a hurry here The uh, Bermuda grass is green in there. So that's a good sign. Now. Let's move over here and check on the katana And see what it looks like And, and it had a little bit of variety of weeds Now I don't see anything with the onions. They look pretty much normal uh, This big weed I'm not sure what it's called honestly you see that one is beginning to wilt a little bit so I think uh, did see some leaf discoloration and some wilting again I think if I cut that with a lawnmower I don't think it would grow back so that's ultimately kind of what we're going for more discoloration with that gigantic hem bit there I think if you mow it it doesn't come back um, which it is effective you know because like I said if you got a weed out here in this Bermuda yard you spray it you mow it it doesn't come back the grass fills in and, and that's a success, you know, that's that's basically what it's supposed to do But again, we're going to watch it a little bit longer and see if we can get something to just wilt up and curl up and die and look Look obviously dead versus just mortally wounded here if in those terms. So um, I'm not sure that's some kind of giant dandelion looking thing uh, So anyway, it, it's showing some signs of treatment as well. There was this one grassy weed And it it katana does work on some grassy weeds and it's showing a little bit of discoloration so anyway just want to give you an update we're going to continue to watch it we'll check back and see if the results accelerate if it gets hot i think things will start moving faster uh, but we'll see what happens in the coming days all right it's been about a week since the last checkup probably two and a half weeks maybe since the initial application so let's check on the weeds and see what's going on all right here's the untreated weeds you can see the the field matter with purple flowers all over it. This tall grassy weed blooming like crazy. Um, some oxalis with the yellow flower. Lots of stuff going on. That tall weed, weeds, weeds, weeds. You get over here to what was uh, treated and definitely seeing some more results. So a lot of discoloration. Um, the onions looks like a little bit going on with those. 
the uh, hen bit here is really yellowing out. Purple dead nettle turning yellow. Um, lots of lots of colors on here that are showing that the weeds are not happy. So um, you can see this big giant weed is really looking sad. So it's definitely having an effect. And we're going to check on it one more time and, and see how it's going. So you see all this oxalis here, yellow wood sorrel uh, with the little yellow flowers going crazy. And then you see over here the katana application starting to really do a lot. That's some hen bit that's turning quite yellow. Um, some geranium there. Uh, more hen bit. More of the fill matter down in here. See this uh, big weed that we sprayed. It's it's uh, turning a lot of discoloration there. The big giant weed over here is looking sad. So again, just um, doing doing a lot. Probably we're going to keep watching a little bit longer. You see that gigantic patch of hen bit there. Um, the clover, this weed here, I'm not sure what that's called. This was some kind of large clover, and then this was more what I normally see, just like white clover. And of course, untreated weeds. You can see blooming green as ever. Last nice update, we'll check back soon and give one more update before we wrap up the video. So we're back for the final checkup. It's been a little over three weeks since the initial application. And let's take one final look, see what the weeds look like. All right, here's the healthy weeds. You see still really tall. And the reason I'm wrapping the video up, one, is because I, I, I don't know that a whole lot more is gonna happen. And then two, I'm, I'm a little embarrassed that the weeds are getting this tall, so I want to um, cut these down where I don't have to look at them anymore. So a lot of things going on here. So these are uh, extremely dark. I'm not even sure if I recognize what weed that was. You can see this uh, yellow wood sorrel here is, is a pretty tough weed to get rid of. And it, it looks like it had some effect on that. And you can see some of these there. Uh, sorry, my camera's trying to get focused here. See some of these that, that is really turned uh, dark uh, hen bit here uh, purple dead nettle so uh, you know showing you from a distance uh, the field matter I can see in there that it's doing some some pretty good damage to it so um, from a distance I mean I, I call this effective I'm not saying perfection uh, the onions or garlic is not not that a whole lot Noticeably, this particular weed, I'm not sure what that is, but didn't do a whole lot to that one. Um, you know, some damage. But what we're looking for here is if we were to come through here and cut this with a lawnmower, how much of this would grow back? And I think the answer is probably very little. Uh, you got that, that big giant weed, you see what it's looking like. So, And then the Bermuda grass is, is the green part here that's starting to fill in. And you need to get rid of the weed so the Bermuda will have room to fill in. So. You see the difference between that and over here, this one I was telling you is kind of tough to kill. The yellow wood sorrel is about to uh, start blooming here. Got lots of purple flowers on on this uh, field matter. So, you know, if, if you question the effectiveness of this, you compare it with what hasn't been treated and you see it's just going crazy. So these little uh, tall weeds, and that was the, the tribute total application. So let's look over here and what's been sprayed with katana. So this same weed right here, it's about 18 inches tall. You can see what happens when, when it's sprayed. So, um, and another example, another example, the hen bit. Not as much action on the, the yellow wood soil there. And it doesn't look like katana was as good on the field matter uh, either. So on the broadleaf weeds, like, well, so on some of these large broadleaf weeds, the hen bit and this weed, which I don't know the name of, looks like Katana did fairly well. I was kind of curious to see what it would do to that. It didn't do a whole lot. Giant weed there, knocked it out pretty good. Uh, more examples of those large weeds. And then, uh, and then we, we did, I do remember spraying the white clover so it looked like did a pretty good job on that and then this is some other larger variety of clover and also did a pretty good job so i like the results we got um true total probably a little more versatile product and got um, a little bit better results i would say comparing side by side it's a more expensive product as well the katana is a great product as well they both have their 
their places in warm season turf. So I appreciate you watching the video. Hopefully it's helpful. Let me hear from you in the comments. If you hadn't done so, subscribe to the channel. You can also check out my other channel, brand new. It's called Fix A Lawn, Fix-A-Lawn, where I'm doing these extreme makeovers from mowing to, and I'm hopefully doing some extreme weed control makeovers as well on that channel. If you're in the lawn business or thinking about starting a lawn business, whether weed control and fertilization or mowing, you might want to go to lawncarelife.com. That's my website. There's video courses, documents, programs, all kind of stuff, lawncarelife.com. We'll see you guys in the next video.